Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and I want to show you how I enhance this image here that was made on an iPhone. Now, in this case, I'm using Luminar 4, which is available as both a plugin and an application. And this is what was originally captured. So, as you see, a pretty big change. Let's walk through that. I'll start by just resetting the image, and we'll take it from the top. What I recommend is start with Essentials and go under the AI Enhance tab. This is where you can even out the exposure with Accent AI and use AI Sky Enhancer to add drama to the existing sky that's there. The AI Structure is useful to enhance the dynamic range of the image, and you can really balance that out. Now in this case, there's nothing wrong with the sky. It was pretty good clouds that were there that day, but it's just not the mood that I want. It really feels like early morning here, and I'd like it later in the afternoon. So I'll go to the creative section, and from the sky selection, I could choose from some built-in skies, and you'll see that they begin to swap. You can also load your own sky in quite simply. Now, as you make these changes, I want you to realize that obviously, it's not quite working yet. And that's because it's way too in focus for that particular backdrop. So once you find the sky that you want, it's really quite simple to change it up a little bit. Just use the sky defocus slider here and it will begin to match the focus of the shallow depth of field. Now you can easily try out different options and you'll see that they swap and takes on the new property. So this makes it a lot simpler to get a good match. Now once you find something you like, you can also use the relight scene option. This will take the lighting from that particular new backdrop and pass it onto the scene itself. You can also use the global and local slider to further emphasize this. This will affect the blend in the light wrap. My suggestion is use the horizon blending slider here to create a gradual blend between the existing horizon and the new one, so it creates a nice seamless blend. Then you can use the close glass slider here to swap things out. In this case, you may notice that the original image had a lot of strong clouds in it, so I need to balance this out so we get a good, believable mix. So by playing with my local and global sliders here, I can find the right overall balance. And what we're trying to do is get a good match. So let's go with something here a little bit more change oriented. I like that and this makes it simple to audition different choices. That's looking good. And I'll just defocus that a little bit and tweak its position. Using the position slider, you can move things up or down until it looks believable. And what I have here is a gradual blend between the two. Now, usually the sky replacement works best if there's no sky at all. So in this case, you see there's a little bit of things left behind from the previous sky. This is why you'll have to play with the close gap slider so you can really finesse that until it looks believable. But between the close gap and the local and global slider, you can get the right balance so that the material is blending nicely in the background. That feels good. Let's come on back here and we'll just play with the AI structure. And I'm going to actually tone down the sky enhancer on the original sky. That works nicely. And let's just balance that out. And you can see the before and after. And I've mixed the two skies together to get a very cool effect. This way you can play with both of the skies and combine them to create a new sky that is awesome for color grading. And you see that the texture and everything else is still held in there very well. So we've got a great overall change of mood and color that really brings the image to life.